I have a picture I can't include it on YouTube, but my friend Mike has a great example of what these look like when they first show up on your body. Oftentimes they're on your arms and legs. They're these tiny little like penny or pea sized sort of um, irregularly shaped um, lesions. They look almost like some kind of allergic reaction to me and uh, they are pre present, like I said, arms, legs, elsewhere on the body. and as you keep using the trank your skin oxygen deficit gets more and more so your skin is like uh more and more hungry for everything all the all the fuel it needs the glucose the oxygen that comes with your blood and so these sores develop really quickly so i can't describe this super graphically here and i don't necessarily want to but these this trank dope i mean it causes awful lesions that are very like reminiscent if you saw maybe the vice co coverage about crocodile about desimorphine um, in Russia it's very similar to that these are the worst cases of open sores and gangrene that I've seen in any medical demographic including diabetics in the US it is awful people are literally walking around with their bones out so what we see from public health data all over the u.s is that as i said when trank shows up in your area oftentimes you find out about it by maybe a dozen or maybe 20 really severe overdoses that seem to have something involved that